at five. Across the country, there is a shortage of school bus drivers. Good evening, I'm Ann Emrick. And I'm David Andrews. Today, it forced one mid-Michigan school district to cancel classes. News 10's Mars Anderson is in the newsroom to tell us how one Hillsdale County community has stepped up to fill in the gaps. Mars? David, North Adams Jerome Public School announced on Facebook Sunday that their school will remain closed today. However, the school superintendent shared with me that their post quickly sparked community response. Classes at North Adams Jerome Public Schools remain empty Monday after the district shared they're experiencing a bus driver shortage. Yes, we had to burn a day of school, um, but honestly, at the end of the day, it's truly going to um, repay us. Superintendent Daniel Shattuck says the district has four full-time bus drivers, but due to call-offs and a small pool for substitute drivers, the district had an unplanned three-day weekend. Unfortunately, when those people are not available, that it makes it difficult for us to find drivers for the district. Shattuck says he understands why people aren't looking to become bus drivers from working split shifts and going through long training for low pay. But he also says it's a job that takes passion. In some of the smaller school districts like this, we just don't have the budget where we can offer a ton of money, offer a ton of benefits. Um, however, you know, truly, this is one of the jobs you get into for what you can do to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Shattuck says the district serves about 300 children, and although they missed school today, the district's Facebook post had community members reaching out to lend a hand. The response has been awesome. We've had three community members already say, hey, we'd love to go through the process of being a sub bus driver for you. And um, luckily we had a board member say, hey, I, have, I know an old retired gentleman. Shattuck says the district has found enough bus drivers for school Tuesday, including two full-time sub-drivers. He hopes by the start of next semester, they will have a pool of sub-drivers to cover when something like this happens. In the newsroom, Mars Anderson, News 10. All right, Mars, thank you. Earlier this year, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed a bill into law that would allow schools to use local tax funds to help cover school transportation costs like gas and maintenance costs freeing up money to be used toward recruiting bus drivers. A live look outside from our sky cam over downtown Jackson, a beautiful sunny fall day.